Really? Now I see that title and I think to myself, first of all, this is a rumor. So is it true or is it not true? But I wonder if it is true, why? Is it because of all the fan backlash? See, he's not doing a live action Invincible movie, which I would love to see him do. No, he's not doing that. He's supposed to be playing Sentry. Steven Yoon is Sentry like I'm Wolverine. Okay? We're not those we're not those characters. Okay? We need to have some fidelity here. We need to have some fundamentals stuck to here when we are casting these Beloved characters that have been loved by fans for years. Okay? Jack Black, he's not Superman. Can't cast him as Superman. Can't do that. Not unless he gets a different haircut and gets into shape big time. Okay? He can't cast The Rock as Superman. Okay? Can't cast Scarlo as Wolverine. Okay? It's just these characters were made a certain way and they need to stick to the fundamentals. Okay? So, we're not sure what to make of this one, but the rumors are swirling on social media that Stephen Yoon, The Walking Dead, has decided to pull out of playing Sentry in the Marvel Studios Thunderbolts movie. Now, I spoke earlier about how actors, not only after what Rachel Zegler has done to her reputation, they need to be press trained again. And because of all the controversy that all these studios seem to just be in love with these days, they need to be fan trained. They need to under stand the fandom of whatever it is that they're taking a role for. So, it says here, we're taking this with a pinch of salt for now, but the moderators of r slash DCU Leaks Reddit page are claiming that the Thunderbolts has lost its actor, Stephen Yoon. Knowing there's no context has been provided beyond him dropping out. And if there is any truth to these claims, these the trades will likely chime in with confirmation shortly. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense based on what else we've been hearing, but the Thunderbolts undergoing changes after the Hollywood strikes, which saw it pushed back by more than seven months, the role may have evolved in a way Yoon is unhappy with. Well, maybe uh, the fans telling him, like, yo, this ain't the right look, bro. This ain't it. You are definitely invincible, but you are not Sentry. It just is what it is. Okay, we all can't play every part that there is. Just can't, I couldn't, hey, if Austin Powers comes out with another movie, I can't play Mini-Me. That part wasn't written for me. I can't. There's no way I could do it. <sighs> Again, this is only a rumor, and it's not one we're 100% buying quite yet. The aforementioned moderators have shared what appear to be some pretty reliable scoops in recent months. However, this is a wild claim, particularly with cameras expected to be rolling on the MCU movies in the coming months. The Walking Dead creator, Robert Kirkman, recently confirmed that Yoon will play the Sentry, revealing he'd been uh, in for a costume fitting. While scooper Daniel Rickman shared a post only yesterday claiming that actor's superhero costume is among the best Marvel Studios has ever dreamed up. I'm sure that's false. 
Uh, it kind of came together in a weird way. Yoon said of his casting last year, Jake Schreier, who did episodes of Beef, he got the gig to direct it, and he kind of saw me for the role. And I read the role, and I was like, this is actually a really interesting role. I'd be down to explore this. I assume he is not a comic book fan. Uh, or at least if he is a comic book fan, he doesn't know who Sentry is. Because um, I wouldn't have did that to my career. Trust me, if I was in his position and they were like, yeah, we want you to play Sentry. No! I don't care how much money they paid me. It doesn't matter. It's about being true to the characters. You can't cast him as Blade either. Okay? Can't cast him as Blue Marvel either. Okay? I think it's less about now checking things off a bucket list and more looking at an experience. Oh, you're going to get an experience. <laughs> Listen, Disney is lining films and series up to fail. They're they, they talking like they're going through with the Ray, with the Ray film, right? And if they go through with this and, all, and making the wrong castings, <laughs> And Variety said that they were concerned that Woke was destroying their brand. Well, they've just set more explosives and they are about to hit the dynamite when this movie comes out and when the Ray movie comes out. Uh, he continued, it's more like, do I want to experience that? Do you? Do you, Mr. Yoon? And I like you too. I like you as an actor. I think you're really, really good. Do you want to experience what's coming? Because there are fans that are way more vocal than me. I'm a, I'm a nice guy when it comes to this stuff. I let people know it's the wrong casting and it's not going to work. And that's it. That's it. There, I mean, there's like, there's all type of venom coming for these movies. I would, I, you could not pay me enough to be part of them. They're like, listen, we're going to pay you enough. Sign a contract, we're going to pay you enough to where you would never have to worry about money ever again. Even your children and your children's children. You are good to go, Magnus. Okay. We got you signed on for Century. What's happening? No, <laughs> every time there's I like I understand my fandom. I understand the fans. You know, there's something when I first started to get into understanding finances and understanding business. One thing in business that they tell you to do is to understand your market. Disney and all these other studios, the crazy thing is they understand their market. They truly do. They're just not giving the market what they want. They're trying to change the market. And how's that been working out for you? Not very well. Disney, this is all true words coming from a real fan of Marvel, a real fan of Star Wars. And all these other properties out there that you and other companies have been destroying. And I know you watch us. I know you watch us. Okay? And we speak out on it. Why? Because we care. We care what we're watching out there. We care about people destroying the characters that we've grown to love. Just totally taking the characters out of context in the way they were never written or portrayed. And you think just because you bought the rights to them, you can do that. Not if you want to make money. <laughs> you could argue that point. So, yeah, well, we bought the money. So we, yeah, we can do anything we want. Okay. Okay. If you want to make money. If you don't want your company to implode, you'll make them the way it should be. Then listen, I am waiting for these movies. I, I, am, I am a parent watching their child touch the stove after I've told them over and over again, hot. Ah, ah, no, bad, no, ouch, it's going to hurt, ouch, 
I am watching the child walk over to the stove again. And I'm just going to let them learn their lesson over and over again. You got blisters on your fingers for a little while. I'll give you a cup of ice to put your fingers in, Disney. But it's going to be the same thing over and over again. There is no way they'll ever make this stuff work. It's more like, do I want to experience it? Putting it uh, out is a whole other thing that I'm going to have to prepare for afterwards. But <laughs> you have to prepare for it. But in the immediate, I'm just down to just experience that experience. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Well, you are, you are going into, let's see, the roughest territory. Okay. Social media influencers or YouTubers, Twitchers, whatever you want to call us all out there, Instagrammers. We've been going through this for years, but you made your stars really haven't had to do with, deal with it for a while. A lot of us have toughened up. And we've dealt with it for years. I've been doing this 12 years now. Um, but the major stars don't really, you know what I mean? But you, you, you have been recently. I'm telling you. It's coming, bruh. It is coming, and I wouldn't want to be you or anyone else that is miscast in these roles that the fans never asked for. If I were these companies, the smartest thing to do would be to pay attention to the fan castings. <laughs> if Tyrone Magnus was going to open up a studio and start making movies, as a matter of fact, if I was placed as the, at the head of Marvel Studios, DC Studios, it would all be all fan casting. Because the majority of the actors that are fan casted can pull the role off. They already have the look. The majority of them have the chops to do it. So I don't know if it's down to Buddy Buddy who's rubbing shoulders with who. Politics, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a lot of stuff when it comes to business. But I'd be picking, okay, what's next? What's next? Okay, we're going to do a solo Wolverine. Who do the fans have? Who's the fan castings? And then I would do a poll. Who's the, come on, uh, who do you guys want? Okay. Okay. And I would interview them in that order of first, second, and third, who they had. That's how I would do it. And then, you know what I mean? Sign, sign, sign whoever won that did the best job. You know what I mean? But anyway, who am I? I'm just a fan. <laughs> Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think about this. If you enjoyed my thoughts on this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Yoon, run like it's the plague, pal. Yeah. And I look forward to you doing an invincible live action movie. 10 million subscribers. Woo!